All right, so let's finish off this handle. Um, this is probably, I probably had the least trouble with this part. Um, the spikes gave me a lot of trouble, but the, the actual handle itself wasn't bad at all. It's like, like doing these was, I didn't run into any issues. It's just like painting uh, kind of smaller versions of the cross guard, really, but, but even easier for whatever reason. I always think it's interesting, like, I'm not using normal maps or anything on this, but, you know, if you get your light and shadow right, it's it's interesting how three-dimensional you can make something look, even if it's on, like, a flat surface. It's like these really look like they're popping out to me, even though I know they're not. They're not. It's just, I don't know, I guess it's interesting how easy we can fool our eyes, <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. And here I'm doing the cloth. I was looking at the final model before I started this video, and I think I probably could have pushed the shadows in this cloth a little bit more and come up with a little bit more interest in there. But, you know, at the same time, if this was like a real game model, it'd probably be in a character's hand and you wouldn't even see it anyway. So I don't know if it'd be worth the effort. But I don't know. There's There's always ways to improve, so it's not a big deal if I didn't. If it's not perfect. Put some tears in there. I'm not totally sold on all of them that I do. I do one towards the top. I think I do it towards the end, though. And I don't really like that one. I'd probably paint it back out if I was redoing it. And moving down here towards, what is that called? The pommel? Is that what they call that? Yeah, doing the little oxidation stuff. I, I should have went and looked up what that's called. <laughs> it's probably like copper copper oxide. <laughs> I'm totally wrong, I'm sure. Obviously, I didn't take chemistry. Actually, I had a chemistry class in high school, but it was like an intro to chemistry. And don't remember any of it. So the kind of the thought process for setting those up is putting it in the cracks. You know, it's like the whole thing would oxidize, but if it's being used, that the green stuff would rub off, you know, and... And, but at the same time, some areas of it are easier to rub off than others, so anything that's in a crack or something like that, it would, I would think that it would accumulate this uh, green stuff more. At least that's kind of what my game plan was when I painted it. I think I could have pushed it further than what I did, but it, I was kind of satisfied with it. At least for something that I came up, came up with on the fly. It's like I had no plans to do that when I originally drew the sword. I like the way the lighting turned out down here. It's uh, usually I have really harsh lighting. I use a lot of uh, cast shadows in my 2D work, just because I think they're fun to play with. But um, on here, I went with like these softer shadows, and I like the way it looks. It's like uh, kind of gloomy looking almost. I don't know, it might, might not be the best approach for a 3D model, but it's different for me, so I like it. Yeah, 
Yeah, same rule. The bottom here goes into shadow, so it's like I'm a little bit more subdued with the textures down there. And it's it's really easy to do. It's you just kind of have to have some restraint to to leave it alone. Because it's like I, I know when I was kind of first doing digital stuff, I'd always want to do texture everywhere because it's so easy to do in digital, but. But it doesn't look right, I don't think, when you do that. If you have, like, a really obvious texture and a shadow, it just, something about it doesn't look correct. One thing I kept forgetting down on that bottom is that the bottom itself doesn't mirror, but the, the rest of it does up above. And so when I would paint a stroke down into the bottom on one side of it, I would forget that I needed to go do that on the other side, because I kept having a noticeable seam on the back. Now here's me attempting. Like these come out looking like like uh, marble or something at first. They're really ugly. And I think I think the problem was is that I had waited like a day or two before I came and painted this section. And it's like the way I would normally paint is doing the whole thing at once and so it would have been I would have been painting the blade and these at the same time. But having that day in between is like kind of was out of the zone with how I painted the blade and I was winding up with like marble looking stuff. And I think they kind of look like moon rocks or something by the end. I never did get very happy with them. That's yeah, just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. I mean, they're not awful, but I know I could do better. See, look at that. Looks like the moon. Some craters from, from asteroid impacts on the bottom of this dagger. I don't know, I call it a dagger, but maybe it's actually a short sword. I don't know. I think it'd be a dagger, like a character's hand on that handle. Assuming it's one-handed, I think that'd be a dagger. Yeah, I think in the next video, I think I go back over this and I put more of the um, the green stuff in there. And something I don't use much in Blender is uh, is uh, like alpha textures, but you can use those. I just, I think they're tedious to set up. That's why I usually don't. Uh, and another thing is the little color swatches over there. I don't do that on purpose. <laughs> I always wind up with a whole bunch of those. But uh, if you hold the S key down to color pick, and then you and you actually click on the on the model or on the texture, it puts that color over there in that palette. So I, by the end of it, I always wind up with like a hundred in there that I don't need. Uh, but almost done here. Uh, just putting a couple neutral colors into that cloth for interest, kind of indicating a bit of, a sh of wrinkles up there at the top. There's that. See, I don't like that tear. I should have got rid of that. That just that doesn't work to me. Doesn't look very good. Oh well.
see you in the next one.